Hey guys, I'm Matt from the Traveling Together Journal. This is my review of the ARB Awning 2500. I like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Just kidding. I'm an overlander. This is my gear. I'm going to tell you all about it. The things I like, the things I don't like, and some tips and tricks I've learned along the way. We've had the ARB awning mounted in our camper for two and a half years. In that time, we've traveled 35,000 miles through eight different countries and have had the awning deployed and in use for over 400 days. It has protected us against sun, rain, and even monkey poop. And with the addition of the mosquito net, it's protected us against cold, wind, and biting insects. At $300, the ARB awning is not cheap, but fairly priced compared to other units on the market. It was easy to mount using the mounting track and included hardware that allows you to adjust the mounting points for your vehicle's needs. Mounting it flush against our camper side and adding a bit of caulking created a watertight seal, keeping us a little drier and allowing us to keep the camper window open during rainstorms, which was crucial in the hot, wet tropics. Once mounted, the awning deploys easily, though with the 2500 or 8 foot by 8 foot model, having two people makes it go a lot smoother. Once we were used to the operation with two people, we generally had the awning up in about 30 seconds. I wouldn't recommend using it like that, however, because of the awning's lightweight construction and large surface area is very vulnerable to high winds. By using the included guy lines and pegs, you greatly add to its strength and stability. We've had the awning deployed and guyed out in over 30 knots of wind without issue. The awning design also makes it vulnerable to heavy rains unless you lower one leg. We thought lowering both legs was the way to go during our first tropical rainstorm, but the crossbar at the front of the awning will prevent water from running off and the waterproof ripstop canvas will fill up like a kiddie pool until something gives. In our case, one of our arms snapped. After that night, we lowered one leg for rain and never had another issue. We also found that the cam locks inside the telescoping arms and legs would wear smooth over time, making them difficult to engage while setting up the awning. But we found an easy fix by rescoring them with a hammer and chisel. Purchasing gear from a well-established manufacturer like ARB can be beneficial to an international overlander in case you need parts while you're on the road like we did after that big rainstorm. ARB has official stores in the United States, Canada, Guatemala, Sechia, Thailand, and Australia, with retailers carrying their brand in 68 other countries on every continent except Antarctica. When we were traveling and needed parts, we found their customer service to be very helpful. They even shipped them to the facility in Guatemala free of charge. Purchasing from a large manufacturer also gives us many add-on accessories to choose from, like windbreaks, floors, and rooms that are designed to attach easily to your awning. Our experience is with the mosquito net. It is basically a mesh room made of 48 GSM midge-proof mesh and a zipper door. The mesh room held a surprising amount of heat, which was good or bad depending on weather conditions. It protected us well against mosquitoes, but with no floor, didn't do much for sand fleas or creepy crawlies. Setup and breakdown of the mosquito net is comparable to a modern ground tent. It takes a couple minutes and it isn't that difficult. Trying to keep it clean while folding it up in mud and sand, however, is pretty much impossible. Overall, we didn't really like using it and tried to avoid it, but we were definitely glad we had it when we were sitting there watching the sunset at a new campsite and could hear the buzz of mosquitoes coming to life. Overall, I consider the ARB Awning 2500 to be a solid product. It's a good compromise between weight, strength, and cost with an easy-to-use design, and I would consider mounting another one on my next rig.